Gee whiz is an expression to arouse wonder or excitement. So is the gee whizzer shotgun going to arouse your excitement on the battlefield? Or is it going to leave you feeling limp? What's up YouTube? Zero here. And today I have an epic gun review of the gee whizzer shotgun in Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. In this video, I'll go through the overview of the G Wizzer shotgun that you're seeing in this video. Then I'll get into some more gameplay and I'll talk about the pluses and minuses of utilizing the G Wizzer shotgun. And then at the end of the video, I'll get into fate or hate. Is the G Wizzer fated to be in the Fate Maker's inventory, or are you going to hate it and should you trash it immediately? Before I get into it, I do want to say if you do enjoy this video, Feel free to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more Tiny Tina's Wonderlands content. Do a bunch of other RPGs, so feel free to check those out as well. Without further ado, let's get into the overview of the G-Wizard Shotgun. So I'm utilizing the Jolting G-Wizard Shotgun of Ordor. This is a Torg shotgun, and if you've seen my previous videos, y'all know I love Torg. The damage is at 764. The accuracy is at 75%. Handling is also at 75%. Reload time is really quick at 1.9 seconds. Fire rate is 1.45 per second. And the magazine size is very low at 4. Mine deals shock damage for 962 damage per second with a 9% chance. And being jolting, it's enchanted on spell cast. Increases lightning damage by 30% for 5 seconds. So that works really well with this shotgun dealing shock damage. It has a 94 area damage radius, a two time zoom, highly effective against wards because it is dealing that shock damage. And this shoots a magical blast of energy, which you probably saw with my shots shooting out that line of energy in that horizontal fashion. You can see on the screen that beam of energy that can deal damage to multiple enemies. So being a Torg, it does have those two fire modes. It has the sticky and the impact. The sticky damage, the more you stick on an enemy, the more damage your stickies will do when they explode. So that's always nice to have from any Torg weapon, which I do really love. One of the reasons why I love Torg in general. The G-Wizard firing that line of magical energy is also really nice to deal with hordes of enemies, but hordes of enemies who are on the weaker side. I found that while I do enjoy utilizing the G-Wizard, it has a really fast reload time and a nice fire rate as well, it can deal a little bit lesser damage than you would hope from a shotgun. So hitting groups of enemies who are on the weaker side this is going to be really nice for because it does have that beam of horizontal energy so you can take out groups of either lighter health enemies or weakened enemies fairly quickly but some of the heavier enemies you're gonna ha have a little bit longer of a time to take out because this shotgun doesn't deal as much damage to some of those more powerful enemies Tor guns in general are very fun to use. The sticky ammo really makes it nice because you can deal extra damage the more sticky shots that you're able to stick on a target. Being a shotgun, I would have really hoped for a little bit more damage. Now, this can always change in the future. You never know when the developers can decide to buff or nerf weapons, and that can be the case with the G-Wizard. But it does deal... A little less damage than what I was hoping for out of a shotgun. Even utilizing the sticky ammo of the Torg and getting that bonus damage for having multiple stickies on an enemy. Of course, only having four rounds in the magazine doesn't help either because you're only able to stick four of your shots before you have to reload. Granted, the reload is very quick, which is nice. You can get back into the battle a lot quicker. So now that I've talked about the pluses and minuses, let's get into fate or hate. Is this gun fated to be in your inventory or are you going to hate it and should you trash it immediately? The G-Wizard does have a few nice aspects going for it. It has a quick reload. It can deal damage to groups of enemies 
and if they are lesser enemies, you can tear through them fairly easily due to that horizontal beam of magical energy. However, when you're facing some of the stronger enemies, it does take a little bit longer to get through their health, shield, or armor. Unfortunately, the sticky ammo of the Torg shotgun doesn't even make up for this. It still doesn't help to tear through those beefier enemies like some other shotguns can. So for that reason, I would hate this weapon right now, even though I do enjoy using it, it's fun to use, it just doesn't tear through those beefier enemies as quickly as I would like. But let me know in the comments section what you think of the g Wizard. Have you used it? And if you have, have you loved it? Or does it deal not enough damage like I believe it doesn't? Let me know in the comments section. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And until next time, peace.